what is going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on my channel i might be a little bit more quiet and that is because it's 1am and i'm currently editing and recording an f1 esports onboard commentary for you guys so if you enjoy these videos especially because today you will see a lot of team radio again please leave a like uh, <laughs> please leave a like subscribe and hit the bell support the channel check out the socials would really appreciate it thank you very much for the support and I would say let's not further talk and get right back into the action. I will see you in the recap. And we are back again for another qualifying session. Here in Kota, it's the third race of event three. Before the final event, of course, because there were four events. And actually, this was my favorite track practicing leading up to racing here. Um, from all of the three tracks, I think it was Monza, Mexico, and then Kota. And Kota is just a very similar flow to Silverstone, Japan, these kind of fast flowing tracks with um, lots of technical sections, I liked it as well. You can see purple in sector 1, feeling really hooked up in sector 1. Right here I messed the corner up quite a bit, you have to hook it up over the curbs quite often. And this year it feels a bit weird, I mean it wasn't my favorite track, but it was my favorite track out of the three, <laughs> actually. Um, anyways. I felt good leading up to this, felt ready, but before this qualifying session we always have one practice quality with everyone which is 12 minutes long. And we saw the top speeds and lap times from other drivers and we were around one and a half to two times slower compared to the fastest guys. We had way too low wings and so we panicked and right before the session changed the setup. So in this quality one I'm currently driving a setup which I didn't practice on with higher wings and it felt not like I had to drive it really hard and so after quality 1 I was changing my setup back for quality 2 little spoiler yeah we are making it through <laughs> even though the, the lap wasn't as tidy as I wish uh, would hope for we are finishing P13 um, yeah and now here in quality 2 I changed back to my original setup just because I was faster with it even though it was slower I was faster with it, so didn't want to risk anything. Simple as that. And you can already see much better turn one than the <laughs> previous session. Um, everything looked a bit more tidy, even though it was definitely slower. Also over here, I messed this up, you could see the small correction. Just a few things here and there. Of course, nervous going into Q2. Going into Q3 was always my biggest difficulty on F122. We had purple sector 1 again. Now important to not lock up the front left going into this corner. Breaking late, still not missing the apex and early on the power. We are not really using the curb on the right. And also, just a little heads up guys, I'm not gonna spam you this race with commentary because it's a wet to interest to dry session. So again, as you probably remember from the Austria onboard, there is a lot of team radio and I think you guys liked it a lot. It's anyways in English, so no worries. There is gonna be English team radio from some point onwards. I'm just gonna leave you with that until the end of the race. So you can hear my reactions, how we are discussing things and yeah, just the overall strategy that we are taking as a team. And as we're completing the final corner of the slap, coming around to complete it, it barely was an improvement, but it was an important improvement because we made it through again. And Yano <laughs> literally just qualified them 1,000. <laughs> These sessions, man, it's ridiculous how close it is. Now we have a one-shot quality, final lap of the qualifying session. One, se one quality, uh, one-shot quality right now. And this one, this turn one was much better than ever before. We were definitely on it. And now it's for the pole position. I felt ready for it. I knew we didn't have the overall pace, but still. And this sector one was nearly my PB, I think. In overall, 901, that's so fast. Like, insanely fast. And everything up here still looked perfect. Under pressure, delivering. Made a small mistake here, small lockup. You can see we are missing the apex a little bit, but it's not that bad, honestly. So far, so good. This lap is looking as it should. It is definitely pole worthy. 
And now also here we have to cut a lot of the inside. We are not cutting it as much, which costs us a little bit of time, but the split is looking good. Again here, decent run through this section. But now in this corner, I make a mistake. You can see we have to hesitate, we have to correct, and that cost us probably maybe half a tenth-ish down this whole area here. And now we are taking it a bit more careful. You can see we are not 100% at the limit. And also we are not hitting the inside cut here perfectly. I will leave you with the team radio now because now you hear my reaction when we hit a proper decent lap. And hoping for the best. Like clean and valid. That was really bad. Unlucky. You are now invalid. You are now invalid. Yep. Fresh. Let's go. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. Good job, man. Dude, we're fucking shit set up. Oh, boys. Well done. Yeah, you can hear it. Really satisfied with this. Um, my second best quality of the season with a setup that we knew didn't have the pace. You can see also the data gap, it's roughly two tenths. Good luck, boys. Look. And uh, yeah, super, super happy with that. Now, Freddy started 10 places down, otherwise it would have been me in P3, him in P4. Um, because Freddy got a grip penalty for the incident with Thomas Ronner in Mexico. And now we just have to make sure we stay out of Jano because we got a decent start. Him too. And now I'm getting worried because Thomas is getting held up here a little bit. Now we have the inside line and Jano is a super, super intelligent driver. So he's of course not fighting this because it would probably risk both of our races if we go side by side through there in the wets. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I have to talk more about Jano because his race pace in the wets is absolutely mad on F122 like I think it's his best year for wet conditions um, I don't like it as much but Jano is freaking insane and you will see that in the next uh, clip that we move to I'm gonna cut to lap 5 where he's going for a move I was communicating with the team asking him how much ERS he has to know if I should use my ERS or not and um, they told me he has low 90 so he has still a lot of battery whereas I had 68 right now you will hear that in a second Niano in the low 90s on the LS. low 90 so I decided to stop using the ERS earlier because I knew he had so much battery he can just charge on me again I had 50% and he has 90 like there's no point in fighting it and I got How? really, really like How? frustrated because in a few moments the team was telling me that Jano had 60% ERS, so he had less than they actually said initially. It was probably because of a broadcast delay, but that made my decision to not fight him as much because he could just recharge him, right? He could just so attack me next lap again. But we had a more similar ERS than I thought, and if I would have pushed, he would have stayed. Maybe behind or I could have defended him, which no, yeah, right couldn't. Now. Yeah, was a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. I will leave you now with the commentary until the end to hear the team radio. And I hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if you like these team radios, and I will see you in the recap. Yano was on 60 as he overtook you. Apologies, Marcel, the feed was still showing you on the straight. So Yano was at 60 when he overtook you on us. So it's looking like track will be dry in about 30 minutes, probably the medium due to overheating. Hey boys, weather info looking like inter weather in 10 minutes. Ten minutes left of this now not on 80. Dry up. Ten minutes. Okay, full wet seems to be the fastest tyre for now. According to the data, track will be ready for an inter in around 5 minutes. That will last for about 10 minutes before drying.
Or is it worth it to go for inters? Darkalek and Smith on an Inter. We are monitoring. Right Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Yeah, I think it's not. It? Many. Many box. Yep. Box ready. My thing. Yes, box this lap. Same 15 minutes on data, looking about 21. How long is this off slot? It'd be overheating with pressures that would be the worry more so. The softs are an all round the first time, the worst on all stints. So soft last nine laps, but remember about the pressures on this one. Yeah, I think it's going to fly up like the uh, next lap. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, I'm going to go medium, so all good, but I want to know, like, what is the... Okay, come back again. Is it overheating? Eighty-five, Marcel. 85. Check off my tires, please. Tire test. Get to the next step. Totally wrong, but that's why we need to check. Copy. Is there actually no rain coming anymore? So, surface 95 is overheating. Carcass 85. Am I overheating? Check my tires because I can't get in the race. You're fine. You're fine. You're saying lap 21 or more like lap 22? The Inter is still the right tire right now. If you wanted I... to gamble, it would be the end of next lap. That's what I know. Yeah. End of next lap, I think, Marcel. I still think it's too early. No, no, no. I mean, like, end of next lap. Yep. I guess I just have to extend. Confirmed. End of 21 could still be the optimal, Freddy. Was you thinking again? 80, right? 85. You hit 95 from right through the S's, Marcel. I genuinely think it could be end of this lap for a gamble. I need to know if you're pretty. Yes, let's go. Problems very smooth. Just 
Yep. Don't go in. Guys, are you kidding me? That's an already on top. The only box that lap more so there was no data available. Am I pitting? Oh, no. No. I have 21.5 Dan is adamant that the medium is the better tyre Hopi It's 5 laps Mercedes on soft Which Mercedes? MMOs Everyone's on soft Except me Vigang on three, Blakely two, Carrot on three. Simon's penalty status is. Marcel, so if you can get it done on track, please yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't say anything except that was f***ed up for myself, big time. Yep, I can debrief, but... I'll try and, try and explain from our point of view where where things were, but yeah, you both drove excellently, and I'm sorry we couldn't deliver a better result for you, Marcel. <laughs> I love you actually, until the end of the... Ah, uh, funny P5. Shame, I saw you at the top of any of face. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess we need to look at another thing, something like that one. What should I say, man? It was um, a rough race. We messed up the strategy. The first call was a bit unfortunate. The second one was very risky because we wanted to make up the first call again. The qualifying was really good. I was extremely happy with that. Lots of confidence from that. And uh, yeah. I think in general it was a positive day. We still ended up in the points. We fought for it. It wasn't easy. But of course not what we wanted. Is what it is. Sometimes it just goes wrong. And we win and lose as a team. So it's what it is. And yeah. On to event for Japan, Brazil and Abu Dhabi. The final three races of the season. Let's get it. I wish you a lovely day. Peace.